Hello everyone, welcome to Jackals TV for this week. We're looking at the Junior Jackals this week. You see them there on the right side of the screen in the black jerseys, taking on the white jersey team, the Muckers, on the left. This is game one of the playoffs for both teams. It's a three-team round robin with two teams advancing to the semifinals next week. This is the fourth time that the Muckers had played the Junior Jackals. Here you see the three scores from earlier in the year. Two wins by the Junior Jackals to start the season 3-2, followed by a 5-3 win by the Muckers later in the year. So it should be a close matchup tonight. Let's see the first period. We start off with the Jackals on offense. Puck comes out to the point there. Alden throws it at that, and there's two tip opportunities there. First hold, and then Darshan. Neither player able to get it on net there. Here's another chance for the other end for the Muckers. It comes across, but Cam steers that one aside. Here's another one. Point shot. Bounces off the blocker, right out to a player there who then slides it through the crease, but Daryl's there to catch it and get it out of harm's way. And that allows for this to happen. Here we see Ryan pick up a loose puck in his own end, and he goes for a rush through the neutral zone with speed, gets pushed wide to the left there, puts the puck on there with a the backhand, and bounces right out to Holden, who buries it through the five hole of the goalie and the Jackals have an early one nothing lead in this one against the Muckers. Muckers trying to get that one back. Here's a chance for a player coming a little late, puts it up high there and off the shoulder of Cam and they get another chance here from right in front and another loose puck there off to the side that gets cleared away by the defense. Stays one nothing. Here they come again. Little spinorama play there and another spinorama tries to go up high backhand with it there. I think he might have missed the net there, but maybe Cam got a piece of that as well. Muckers keep coming. Here's a point shot there. After they move around there, it's up high and it bounces straight out there. Then, then turns into a breakaway the other way. Here comes Holden. And all alone the breakaway. Fakes going left and then tries the one-handed Forsbergy in play there. But the goalie sticks with it and keep, gets a toenail on it and keeps it out still 1-0. Another little weird breakaway attempt here that the player was just hidden on the backside there. No Jackals seem to be ready for it, but Cam was ready for it, and he makes the save and keeps it out. And has to make another save here with a player coming in fast down the left side, cutting through the middle, but Cam sticks with him, keeps it out. Muckers coming again. Another play where they delay and then throw it out front there, and Ryan sends that player flying to the corner, so he's unable to get the loose puck that's there in front, and Cam covers it up. Here are the Jackals with a chip out of the zone there. That's going to result in a two-on-one the other way. We see Josh coming in. He's looking to pass there, although he had access to the net. That might have worked out if he just took the shot there. He tries to pass, and the defenseman does take care of it. A little bit later, here's Josh again. This time he receives the pass from Syra. The puck is loose there in front, and a couple people are whacking away. Then Quinn has a chance there with the open net. Can't quite get it. Comes back to the point. Bob puts it back on, and then there's Syra and, and Quinn. Can't find the net there. Some great chances. <laughs> We're going to head to the second period, 1-0 for the Jackals. Here's a turnover right there at center. So Daryl brings it in. He comes across the line. He puts it through to Holden, who goes backhand with it, deposits it into the net there after a nice move to the backhand. And the Jackals are up 2-0 early in the second period. Have control of this game. But that's going to turn around here as we see the Muckers come in and get a chance on the net that pounces out for a rebound and that chance also is another nice save by Cam. They put it out to the point here, walk around the four checker there and walk in and put a laser low to the blocker there that Cam isn't able to handle. It was a really nice shot and they cut the lead in half. It's two to one. So here's Holden trying to respond. He's down the corner and he gets bumped there by that player, knocked down. Player, players seem to think the play is going to end, but it doesn't. And so we keep going, and the Muckers do come out with it there after that. Now it's a three-on-two the other way, which they delay, and they set the triangle up there, dish it off to that player who's unchecked and walks in and puts another puck low on the blocker's side, and all of a sudden, it's 2-2. Two -two. And they're looking for more. Here they come in on the right side. Another three-on-two there, and you see the back check doesn't quite pick up that player high, but they don't hit them this time. But that doesn't mean the play ends. They keep it in, and here's another chance where they can walk up front. Another rebound to a player there. A backhand shot that rattles around there, and another shot from a bangle there that Cam keeps out. And that's going to lead to this. We see the Muckers trying to come in there, and Alden trying to just poke the puck off his stick. Instead gets his feet, and that results in a tripping penalty, and 
Now the muckers are on the power play. And here you see them delaying, going around behind the net with it there. Looked like he was going to make a backhand play with it. So Daryl bit on that a bit and he took it to the middle instead. And he dishes it off to the player, off to the side there, who finds a way to get that past a sliding cam. And it's now 3-2 for the muckers after being down 2 nothing. Here, Holden's going to try and get that one back though. He comes in on a breakaway, tries to go to the forehand this time instead of the backhand, but the goalie stays with it, keeps it out. There you can hear the result of that chance from Darshan as that shot hits the post. Has the goalie beat, but they can't tie the score. Here we see Josh coming in the left side though, and he sees Quinn High there, waits for it, comes in, a couple minutes left in the period, puts it low and under that goalie, and the Jackals have retied this game 3-3. We see Ryan trying to get out here with his seconds wind down, but it gets keep kept in on the point. Player walks in from the point, gets a nice chance from them. The high slot can't bury it though, and we're gonna head to the third period, tied 3-3. Three, three. Here we see Ryan coming again as he's coming up the left side, gets the passing ball, comes in, gets some space there, tries to put it high blocker, but the goalie does manage to keep it out. Muckers come the other way, put a point shot there that bounces out, and the Jackals are quick to jump on that rebound and get it out. But here's another chance for that number 15 on defense. He does a give and go there, gets a good hard shot on net, but Cam steers that aside and keeps the game tied. Here come the Muckers again. They've got this player high on the far side of the road. Because he gets him, but does eventually make it through there, and it hits Bob in the leg and then goes off the post and come out. And there's a close call there by the Jackals. Not so close this time. Cam's right with that one on that other rush. Reads it well, makes a nice save there. Muckers keep coming though, but there's a big block by Alden, and then he races out to get it and tries to get it out, forces them to take a penalty there. And so the Jackals are gonna go on the power play here late in the third period with a tie game. Possibly could have had a five on three advantage right there, but the refs deem that not to be a tripping penalty. But they do get this one chance on the power play here. If they're holding, puts that across and it goes through. And then Syrah gets a shot there up high that doesn't quite make it through. Here's Alden, he's working it across to Bob. He's gonna put that slap shot through there to Quinn who's coming through the crease, but they can't get the tip. And the muckers do end up killing that penalty. You can see the player coming out of the box right there, right? And now there's a player behind the play there on the breakaway, makes the move, he has open net there, but Cam stretches out and gets the toe on that one. The game remains tied. Here's Holden in front, he pulls it back, shoots it up high, you can see him look to the heavens a bit there. He had some space, high blocker, doesn't manage to be able to hit it. Here goes Ryan, the other way, another rush, going around the player there, cutting in front, looking to win this game, but the goalie makes a save there and keeps it out, and that allows this to happen. One minute left, a four on two, the other way, the back check not getting there fast enough in time, and you see a couple cracks in it there. That player manages to bunt it out of the air and into the net past cam to make it 4-3 with less than a minute to play. And that's how that one's gonna end. We see the time wind down on an offensive zone faceoff in the other zone there. So the Jackals come close, but they give up a late goal there in a disappointing fashion to have, lose this game 4-3. to three. You see the other results there, the Buddies also losing to the Muckers. So that, that means that the Jackals will play the Buddies on Monday night. Winner goes to the semifinals and the loser is out. See you Monday, folks.